Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this video, we're going to be looking at the new user-generated content admin panel. To better help server admins moderate the content on a server, Facepunch has implemented a new section under the server admin tab, and this will show all user-generated content on the server. So this includes painted signs, audio content on the cassettes, carvable pumpkins, neon signs and patron boomers which is the fireworks where you can draw your own patron that will then be shot into the sky i quickly want to show you what this looks like in the game what kind of features it has and how you could use it to make sure there's no offensive content on your server and they've also improved the reporting there's now a new offensive option so if someone really crosses the line you could also report the player using that new option and this will now also include a screenshot to better help admins act on the issue there's also a new server confar for admins. I will not demonstrate this in this video. If you need more information, take a look at the wiki link below. I have some signs here with some abstract art, if you can even call it that. Let's press F1 and then go to server. In here, you can see all the user generated content. You can also scroll through this list. So we can see what kind of entity it is. And if we click on this, we can also see the Steam ID and the username. We can also copy this in case we would like to do some sort of command using this person's Steam ID. Let's say you want to kick someone, ban someone, send them a private message, etc. You could copy this directly from this menu. If we take a look at this one, we can also see the edit history. So it was originally created by me and someone else called Yes also edited this sign Let's say the person who created the sign and the person who painted the offensive painting are two different players. You could even see this in the history. You can see that sign over here. I can directly delete it from the sign straight from my menu. I don't have to fly to that position and I don't have to manually remove it or completely break the sign. Let's also look at the other options and see how they show up. We recorded something. Here we can see cassette entity. Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tevex. <laughs> Same as before, we can delete it and then it goes back to default. We carved our pumpkin, <laughs> carvable pumpkin. We can also see who carved it, delete it, and it will be automatically reset. If something is offensive, you can just delete it. Let's take a look at how the animated neon signs look like in the F1 menu. So we can see the individual frames in this case, it's made out of three out of five frames. So you can clearly see what is being written and also what the animation is going to look like. So let's say you have made your own pizza and someone decided to put some pineapple on there. And you find this really offensive. I mean, I can understand. So <laughs> let's take a look at what the fireworks look like in the F1 menu. Because pineapple pizza, we, we, can, we cannot allow this on, on my server. So we can see here clearly pineapple pizza and very quickly just click that away. And that will not be an issue anymore. So let's say I want to report this sign. I can press F7. We now also have a offensive category. And as you can see, it will also include the screenshot, like the article said, to allow admins to reply quicker. Overall, I think this will really make things a lot easier to make sure that everybody is happy. I think this will really help out admins, especially those of massive servers, to make sure that there's nothing that is really crossing the line. And if someone complains or reports, you are a lot more quicker and a lot more easier able to deal with the issues. I'm also really curious what more is going to be added to this server tab. And hopefully in the future, we will have so many tools and things to just make the work a lot easier because it is a lot of work. And not always everything is that easy to do. This super easy well implemented don't really have negative feedback on it i really really like where this is going hopefully you liked it as well and hopefully this was helpful if anything is unclear feel free to leave a comment down below and as always thank you for watching and good luck with your tabex store